All right, guys, we are 7 June 2022, and uh, markets are looking low again. 29,870 for Bitcoin, Ethereum, boo, uh, 1776. I hate Ethereum. I hate everything about it. I hate the devs. I just hate the whole project. I mine it because it makes me money because I flip it to Bitcoin, but I am not an Ethereum fanboy at all. Man, those fees, just transferring stuff, just the way you watch these guys do their their meetings on what they're going to do with this merging crap and all that. It just doesn't give you confidence. It's almost like, would you buy a car from these people? No. Anyway, that's where we are with the markets. Anyway, speaking of Ethereum, boo. Um, what are we talking about today? So Ethereum's Ropsten test. What are these names? What is Ropsten? Anyway, Ropsten's test merge expected to initiate in the next 48 hours. Blammo. Dun, dun, dun. Quick take. Ethereum's core developers have imminent, oh my God, imminent plans to perform the merge on the Ropsten testnet. All these damn testnets out there, it just drives you nuts, man. Uh, the event will merge Ropsten's proof of work chain with its beacon chains. All right, how many chains do we got and how many testnets do we have? Could someone just draw a freaking chart? Uh, I wish we get this straight. All you hear is these buzzwords popping up. You got the shadow chain, the shadow network, the Ropsten testnet. That's the first time I've heard of this thing. Oh, my God. I'm so sick of this. Uh, Ropsten, Ethereum's oldest testnet, did not know that, is about to undergo its transition to proof of poop. I mean, proof of stake as one of its final tests ahead of the purge, the merge on the main Ethereum blockchain. While the exact timing for the Ropsten merge will fluctuate depending on a few variables is expected to happen on Wednesday, 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 according to an official blog post from Ethereum. So is that how you do it? You put it in a blog post? Okay. Anyway, the main objective of the testnet merge is to practice Ethereum's mainnet merge later this year. Oh my God, the Ethereum core developers, boo, uh, have carried out merge tests in the past, including Shadow Fork, there's the Shadow Fork, all right, on the main network, and another merge on a testnet called Kiln. How many testnets are there? I mean, this does not seem organized. You got, wait, what's this, Robston testnet? It's the oldest testnet. And now you got this Kiln testnet with a Shadow Fork on the main net. Holy crap. How do you manage this, guys? How do you manage this? Are you using Git? What's the baseline look like on this thing? What's the, oh my God, I can't imagine working on this project. Anyway, my God, this event will take Robson's two chains. Holy crap, now there's two chains. One proof of work. Oh, the other being the proof of stake beacon chain and combine their code together. Ruh -roh, that never goes well. This is the same process that the Ethereum mainnet merge will go through later. Holy crap. Imagine going to work on this thing. You'd be like, what? Where? Wait, how many? What? <laughs> There's just how confusing can you make it, guys? Oh, my God. The Robston merge is one of the many critical steps to check whether client software used to run Ethereum nodes performs normally and without bugs during the event. Several client software teams participate in the coming Ropsten merge include Lighthouse, Lodestar, Prism, Nimbus, Tiku, Bisu, Aragon, Go Ethereum, Gith, and Nethermind. I never heard of half of those, if 90% of those. I've heard of Ethereum, that's about it. Oh my lord, the coming merge will only happen after the proof of work version of the Ropsten crosses a predecided metric woo, called Terminal Total Difficulty or T T D. This is set to a very high level of 50 quadrillion. Is that like uh, Dr. Evil? I want 50 quadrillion dollars. As to prevent any malicious entity from messing with the merge by artificially acquiring hash rate, which happened the first time this test was scheduled. Oh my God. All right. Oh, since Robston is a test net, its hash rate is low. Therefore, the merge node operators will have to manually configure their clients to override the Robston terminal total difficulty. Again, TTD. Both for their execution layer and consensus player clients. I don't know what that means. This is scheduled to be completed by the end of today, being 7 June 2022, the year of the Robston testnet of the month, the day, whatever. As soon as clients report and fix issues, Observed in the Ropsten merge, the developers, the developers, 
they will move to other merge tests planned on other test nets, including Oh Dear God, Gowerly, and Sepolia. Does anyone have this mapped out? How many freaking test nets are there? How many shadow forks? Man, who's managing this team of developers, guys? You ought to be like kicked out or flogged. This is ridiculous. Holy crap. Ay, ay, ay. Who named these test nets too? Guys, you got to keep it simple when you're doing development. You can't put all these stupid names out there. All right, there you go. They are doing the test net. Guys, at this point, I don't give a royal F anymore about Ethereum. I'm just going to keep mine until they say don't mind anymore. And I don't give a crap. I'm so tired of worrying about these guys. Pinning your future or your GPUs or your rigs on one stupid coin like these guys. Sure, it's profitable, but by God, I hope something else comes out and is just as profitable as proof of work. And I really hope Ethereum fails and goes to zero because the way they're running this thing, it's ridiculous. And I'm not really a big fan of Ethereum, like I said. Anyway, just wanted to put that out there. They're working towards merging on these test nets. Again, I'm, I'm just like, eh, who cares, guys? Just do it. Do it. Buy me dinner first before you Vaseline me up. You know what I mean? It's just so stupid. Uh, I guess they're going to have lots of bugs. Being in software, I know how this all works. you got a lot of egos. you probably got a lot of uh, divas on these teams. People think they're uh, God's gift to men, humanity, women, whatever. Well, they're not women. I've seen some of those clowns. Anyway, who knows what's going to happen. Uh, I expect lots of bugs. Anyway, NFTs are dying off. They're not going to be using Ethereum much anymore. Uh, look at Coinbase. They tried to do an EF, uh, NFT type thing and it failed. Therefore, they have to rescind lots of job offers to many people after those people have given notice on their other jobs. And now they're left dangling without a job because Coinbase has failed using an NFT type social thing. And I think it was based on Ethereum platform. I don't know. I need to get the deets on it, but uh, the deets, baby, the deets, the details. I don't know. I'm just so fed up with this crap. And that's why I want to put this rant out there. If you're sick and tired of it, put your head out the window and say, I'm sick of Ethereum and I'm not going to take it anymore. Re, re, re. Anyway, I don't really care. I thought this was interesting. I'm really blown away at all these shadow forks, all these different test nets. This is a nightmare. Is there a plan? I mean, now they've got these other players involved right here. Is there a plan? Does someone map this out and have a game plan for these devs? And it just sounds like, it just sounds like a big poop show. Uh, POS is PO, you know what I mean? It's not stake. It, substitute the word I'm thinking of. Yeah. As soon as clients report and fix issues, you know how long that takes? That could take a couple more weeks. Because when you find bugs, it's all trickle down. You fix it. You got to retest unless they don't have any stringent testing, but they sounds like they may. I don't know. But again, look at these other test nets. Holy crap. Who is their configuration manager on this project? And I'd like to see them write up their process to uh, kind of give faith in this project. This is kind of a disaster. Looking at it from outside in, you guys have a bad PR. You guys have a bad uh, way of presenting status to the public. And it shows you guys got to work on a better front office person, a press person. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, that's where we're at. The merge is happening. It's coming. They're doing the test net stuff. And they may be under a lot of pressure just to get that merge kicked out the door so they can uh, use all those pre-mined Ethereum tokens and start staking to make some yummy money. And again, like I say, follow the money and you'll find people's motivation. That's it. That is all I got. Oh, I hope I never have to talk about Ethereum ever again. I wish it would just merge right now and be done with it. Yeah, I'm out. I'll talk to you later. Woo!